<laughs> I'm back. Hi guys. <laughs> hey guys. Today I'm going to be doing another painting. Surprise, surprise. And this one is actually like, the, probably the first. No, not probably. It is definitely the first tutorial that I've ever followed and done at the same time and filmed at the same time. This, um, this painting that I'm trying to do is uh, of hydrangeas. Which I've never painted before, even though I paint flowers all the time. And it's um, it's a tutorial by Katie Jobling. If you don't know Katie Jobling, go look her up. She's incredible. She's so amazing. And I think, I'm pretty sure she's the one who inspired me to paint flowers for as long as I've been doing that. I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you the video. I just, um, I didn't so. Basically, I watched parts of it, and then I just went to this pic this like the final, final painting. Um, because I like to work backwards when it comes to like looking at a reference and going backwards. Because I don't really think that the step by step really works for me every time. Maybe one day we'll do that. Probably with Bob Ross actually. The first thing that she did was, was draw an outline of what she wanted the flowers to look like. I guess like placement wise and then she did the background I'm thinking okay fine I'll sketch it I wasn't gonna sketch it but I'll just sketch it so I need to get a pencil I'm using a fairly small canvas because if I mess up then I won't be wasting a bigger canvas I'm just gonna sketch it by looking at this real quick and then I'll put the canvas back on the easel all right so this is roughly What I think she did like I couldn't really see her sketch from the video, but I'm just assuming this is what it is So now I'm gonna paint the background. So for hers, it's gray for me. I'm kind of running out of black It might be different. I don't know We'll just start and see where it takes us um, My black paint is so dried up that it's like spiky <laughs> I'm gonna try out this brush and For the background and see how that goes. I might just switch halfway Oh, let's see. This canvas is not primed, so it's going on a little bit. Not so good. I think I'm gonna change my paintbrush. See what happens. There's chocolate coffee cake. And yes, I would like some of those. Thanks. This is taking so long. <laughs> I think if I can read that right, it says that 13 minutes have gone by of me filming and all I've done is paint the background and put some pencil marks on the canvas. So we gotta speed this up. I forgot what she does next. No, I do remember. It's the leaves. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that right now. She has her leaves pretty bright. Oh, this is... Yeah, okay. She has her leaves pretty uh, bright, but I'm not really a fan of bright, bright leaves. And so I'm gonna just mute it down a little bit. So, I mean, let's just see what happens. Am I right? Do I not have any more palette knives? Yes, I do. <laughs> continue talking but basically um what i remember from the video is that she started off with the did you just hear what my voice did oh my god this cat is staring at me basically she does the deepest blue so i just took it right out of the jar over here and and then i did as you saw the first layer in kind of a circle shape and then one up here and then i just took some white on my brush like that 
So I just kept picking up more and more weight, and then this is what we have. Um, I'm guessing if I add any more weight, it's just gonna blur the whole thing, and I'm gonna lose the shape of a flower. So I'm just gonna stop for now, go to the next thing. So I'm taking some straight red right here. Well, it's not straight red. It's kind of mixed in with some random things that are on my palette. But it's the darkest thing I have. I'm just doing the same thing as I did with the blue. to figure out um, if I was laying this painting or if I had some more work to do because sometimes when the camera's on I can't properly fit. I'll just show you where we're at right now. Kind of just went back and forth and fussed a little bit with the petals and stuff but I think I've got it now. So now I'm gonna do the leaves properly. So I've added on some extra leaves that weren't really in her original but I just felt like it was necessary in my painting yeah the more i fuss the more it's gonna get crazy so i feel like i've done most of it by now i'm just gonna go back and watch some of the details in the video that i can't retain but i'm assuming it's like she had these like darker uh paint strokes in there I need to watch what she did though so just one second <laughs> knocked over the paint water I think this is complete this is one of the shortest and easiest but most like fulfilling paintings I've ever done okay, so I think I've done this painting um, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Katie Jobling for doing such an incredible job um, with all these florals that she paints she paints these beautiful bouquet bouquets and all kinds of flowers and it's just so beautiful and gorgeous and it's so inspiring and it makes me want to paint more so go check out her channel and her instagram and her etsy for more of her stuff and in the meantime i don't know try it out yourself and see what happens i've never painted what are these called Hydra hydrangeas hydrangeas i hope i'm saying that right um, but anyway, this was lots of fun and thank you for watching. I hope everyone is safe and healthy and well and happy and have a great rest of your day. See ya!